The 2023 concept has, I would say, a lightweight feature was very important. It's an electric car, so you need to go further, but you need to go faster. We decided to create something that maybe just for the racing, just for the really young audience. From Formula E, we got kind of inspired from uh, how to develop and construct all the concept from the exterior. In some way, it could look very raw, but this is the intent. We had to get rid of everything that is basically aesthetic and cosmetic and only focus on structures. That's why you can see just a shell and then some beams and um, basically everything is made of this Lego technique, tubular kind of approach. The exterior colour we're looking at is trying to suggest a vehicle that's almost been machined out of a solid lump of metal and it's got a very textured surface to it to give that rawness that contrasts with the high gloss elements of the vehicle. The 2023 concept, we felt it was time to just to make something that reflected perhaps the environment we live in and the young team that we have here. The real history of NDE is we first came here 20 years ago, so this is our 20th birthday. We're in this magnificent building, it's called the Rotunda. It was designed in 1968 by an architect called Paul Hamilton and it has a very brutalistic, unusual architecture and it's actually a listed building as its sort of architectural significance uh, within the country. So it's a great environment for us to be creative in. Not only that, it's in a great location being in the, the centre of London. NDE of course is a building and a name, but we're made up of people and it's our most valuable asset. The team I would describe as one of the most creative teams I've worked in. The freedom, I would say it's the biggest quality that we can have in our studio. It's the fact that we can work on production, but the concept phase allows us to go very far. Also, the fact that we're working and living in London, we have the access to all the cultural lifestyle that we can find in this city and we can enjoy ourselves. Being in London, it does get under your skin and it subconsciously has fed the output that we've generated since we've been here. So since we started, our design process has changed almost unimaginably. Going back 20 years or more, we used to hand draw. Uh, not only that, we'd put the drawings in a tube and send them to our colleagues in Japan and receive tubes back. Well, nowadays we use a lot of digital tools. We're still having contact with sketching, but that's for the very, very advanced phase. Then we jump immediately to digital. We have facilities that we can do every function of design. We can do clay modeling, we can do CAD modeling, we can make prototypes. Uh, we have the full suite that a, a headquarters studio would have. What we have at Nissan and we all enjoy is we, we have a spirit of freedom. We're asked to explore and when we look back, I think it can really reflect on the products that we produce. Our back catalogue of designs at NDE is quite rich. From the very beginning, we, we launched a show car in Geneva in 2004, which was the, the Qashqai concept. It was obviously a very pivotal car for us because it was the start of our journey with Qashqai and was our first project in this building. That, of course, led on to the production one in 2007, uh, which, of course, has set the benchmark in terms of C-segment crossover. As well as our mainstream products, the team here, they look at a lot of advanced studies, which also lead on to concept vehicles. And even around electrification, if we look back, the studio worked on NV200, which later went on to be an all-electric commercial vehicle, uh, so we worked on the concept of that. Down to the Aria concept, and Aria single-seater. The 2023 concept, it's a celebration, it's a present from us to us to celebrate our 20th birthday.